Hello everyone, uh, my name is Saurabh Tiwari, I am PhD student at IIT Bombay. I am also course T of this work. Uh, in the previous lecture, you have studied about the various, uh, 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 various method uh, through which you can store hydrogen in, a dif in different phases. Also you have studied in the previous lecture the various method of compression uh, of hydrogen using different type of compressors. In this lecture, uh, we will uh, we will go in more detail by taking some of the examples how the hydrogen will be compressed or how the volume of storage will change when the hydrogen will be stored in different uh, phases. So in the first question, we have to calculate the volume required to store 1 kg of hydrogen. First, the first question is that it will how uh, what amount of volume we require to store in gaseous form at uh, normal temperature and pressure and when we pressurize it up to 352 bar to 700 bar. Then we will store, uh, we will try to find out the volume when hydrogen will be stored in liquid form at 20 Kelvin, in, uh, then in the solid state at room temperature. Then we compare all these three cases of storage and, we fi uh, and finally we will comment on the hazard related issue when leakage occur from liquid hydrogen storage tank. So we will start with the first. So the amount of hydrogen to store is 1 kg. We will start with the first case at NTP the density of hydrogen gas is 0.089 kg per meter cube. So uh, at NTP the volume required to store 1 kg of hydrogen is 1 by 0.089 around 11.24 uh, meter cube which when convert into liter gives us 11.240 liter. This is the first case. Uh, when we pressurize this hydrogen up to a pressure of uh, 350 bar at 350 bar the density of hydrogen gas will change and it, it will change up to 23.65 kg per meter cube. Now if we calculate volume from this, this comes out the, uh, because uh, when you pressurize the gas the, the amount of volume required will be less. So now the volume comes out to be 0 0.042 meter cube which is around 42.28 liter to be exact. After that we will see at 700 bar the density of hydrogen gas is around 40.2 kg per meter cube which will give the volume to be 1 by 40.2 which comes out to be 0.025 meter cube and in liter it is 25 liter. So from here we have seen that when the pressure is increasing uh, from uh, room temp uh, from NTP uh, to 350 bar up to 750 bar. The volume to store 1 kg of hydrogen will be at NTP is 1124 liter, 0 liter, it is 11240 liter. At 350 we have calculated as 42.28 liter and at uh, uh, 750 it is 25 liter. So as we increase the pressure, we have seen that 
the volume requirement will continuously go on decreasing. So, this is the uh, this is one of the method to store hydrogen. In the second uh, in the in the second question it is given that we have to store this 1 kg of hydrogen in liquid form. So, in case B at liquid form liquid phase the density of liquid hydrogen is 70.8 kg per meter cube. This will give us the liter uh, the volume required to store 1 kg of hydrogen as 1 by 70.8 which is 0 0.0148 meter cube which is around 14 liter. Now in the case C in the question C we see that at solid state storage density of hydrogen comes out to be 100 kg per meter cube which will give us a the volume of around 0 0.01 meter cube which is around 10 liter. Now, in the case D we have to compare all these type of storage system that uh, in different phases. Uh, so, we have uh, from the first of the calculation we have seen that as uh, uh, when the when we want to store hydrogen in gaseous form the volume required is high uh, as compared to the liquid phase and the solid state storage. Now, if we can if we just compare that where the volume required in solid state to store 1 kg of hydrogen versus uh, when we store the same amount of uh, hydrogen in the liquid phase. So, this comes out to be so in solid state storage the volume required is 0 0.7 time of what what is required in the uh, liquid form. If we compare the another case if we compare that with the uh, to store the same amount of energy at uh, uh, during the gas phase form the volume required and to store the same amount of energy in the liquid phase when we, then we have seen that this comes out to be 802.85 this is a very big number so if we want to store hydrogen gas if, if we store hydrogen uh, in gas phase form uh, then uh, then the volume required is 802 times of what we want in uh, liquid phases in liquid phase in the next uh, in the next part it is seen that uh, what, what is the hazardous condition which will create when the hydrogen will be leaked, leaked in from the uh, liquid phase so this is the, uh, from uh, from the last answer we have seen that the volume required to store gaseous form is 802.85 times of vn so when they if we have a tank of uh, tank in which the liquid hydrogen is stored and if there is some leakage from this portion so the hydrogen will be uh, hydrogen will liquefied at a temperature of around 20 kelvin so when there will be some leakage this will continuously uh, go on the outer portion at in the atmosphere and this will produce a cloud of liquid hydrogen in this portion. Then uh, after, after forming a cloud at 20 Kelvin uh, this will continuously go on evaporate because uh, it's when it comes to the, uh, uh, in the contact of atmosphere its temperature goes on increasing then there will be evaporation. converted into gaseous hydrogen. If there is no ignition if there is no ignition and there will be delayed uh, uh, conversion of uh, uh, liquid hydrogen into the gaseous hydrogen the volume occupied by this uh, gaseous hydrogen is around 802 times. So, what we have seen is if, uh, uh, if there is a tank in which the hi liquid hydrogen is present and there will be leakage of liquid hydrogen, uh, so there will be initially the cloud of liquid hydrogen then it will start expanding which is known as the expansion ratio and it will expand up to a point of 802.85. 8, 
in this times the ex the, the expansion of volume is 803 times as compared to what is seen when it converted into the gaseous forms so this will this will pro, this will prove that the uh, how much the hazardous is the gaseous hydro, uh, gaseous hydrogen when the liquid hydrogen is converted into gaseous phase in the next question after seeing that what the volume is required to store a certain amount of hydrogen it is also sometimes important to compress hydrogen up to a higher pressure uh, so that there will be requirement of less volume in it so the compression of hydrogen is also a very important uh, topic that is covered in the last lecture by professor prativa sharma uh, so for doing the uh, for doing a small calculation how the compression is being done the question is we have to calculate the work done to compress 1 kg of hydrogen from 1 bar to uh, 16 bar at standard temperature and pressure by assuming hydrogen as an ideal gas if this compression after that if if, uh, uh, if this compression we will done in two stage compression that is initially we will go from 1 bar to 9 bar and then from 9 bar to 16 bar then we have to calculate the work done in this case also and then we compare the what uh, which one is uh, which which way is better to compress hydrogen up to this bar so initially it is given that for the for single stage compression for single stage P1 is given as 1 bar and P2 is given as 16 bar. We have to compress it isentropically. So, the work required to, com uh, to compress hydrogen isentropically is given by gamma by gamma minus 1 R T1. This is how the isentropical work will be uh, for uh, isentropically compression of hydrogen will uh, will be described as the work done. So the value of gamma is 1.4 because it is a diatomic gas. So if we put this value as 1.4 by 0 0.4 into 8.314, uh, this is kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Uh, multiply by if it if, if it is an atmospheric temperature then 25 degree taken as 298 Kelvin uh, P2 is given as 16 bar and this one is 1 bar calculating it as 0 0.4 by 1.4 minus 1 uh, if we uh, if we just if, if we if we solve this uh, values we have found that kilojoule this is uh, this is what we have seen from single stage compression for two stage compression the isentropic work will be given by gamma by gamma minus 1 rt1 p2 by p1 gamma minus 1 gamma minus 1 plus gamma by gamma minus 1 rt1 p2 by p1 gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1. Here this one is P3 by P2. So initially we have to compress it from 1 bar to 9 bar and then from 9 bar to 16 bar. So in this case P1 is equal to 1 bar, P2 is equal to 9 bar and P3 is given by 16 bar. So now in uh, now after that we have to put the value of these it is 1.4 by 0 0.4 similarly the r, r value is 8.314 t is 298 p2 initially the p2 is 9 we have to compress it from 1 bar to 9 bar so p2 is 9 uh, gamma minus 1 is 0 0.4 1.4 minus 1 after compressing it from 1 bar to 9 bar we have to compress it from 9 bar to 16 bar so this is given by 
298 uh, 16 by 9 0 0.4 1.4 minus 1. If when we solve this equation, this W isentropic comes out to be 9122.420 kilojoule. So, this is the single uh, when, when, when the compression will be done by single stage, this is the amount of work done. When we have to done for the two stage compression, this is the work done that is being required. So, for one stage compression W isentropic is given by 10476.72 kilojoule and for two stage compression W isentropic is given by 9122.42 kilo joule. Now, if we see that, if we uh, so if from here it is seen that if we if we want to compress hydrogen from 1 bar to 16 bar, and if we will done into by using the two stage compression, the amount of work done required is lesser in case of two stage compression as compared to the one single stage compression. If we see how much amount is this increment is there, so the percentage of less work in two stage compression. It is nearly about 14 percent. So, if we want to compress hydrogen from 1 bar to 16 bar, there will be 14 percent less work we have to done in two stage compression as compared to the one single stage compression. The next is the next uh, next question is also about the compression. If in, uh, if the process is isothermal, that there is no temp change in temperature. So what is the amount of work that need to be done uh, to compress one kg of uh, hydrogen isothermally at standard temperature and pressure such that the final volume will reduce to one fourth of the initial volume? We have to also find out uh, the amount of heat evolved and change in internal energy. So here it is given that the uh, uh, such as the final volume reduces to one fourth of the initial volume. So if we see that the final volume is one by fourth of the initial volume. Okay. So the temperature at we are assuming at 298 Kel. The value of R uh, is around. 8.314 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. We want to uh, compress 1 kg of hydrogen. So, the isothermal work to compress this if hydrogen is assumed to be as ideal gas is given by RT ln V2 by V1. From here V1 is given by 4 V2. So, if you put this value in it, it comes out to be 8.314 into 298 into ln V2 by 4 V2. If you solve this, if you solve this uh, uh, equation, we will get a value of Kilojoule. Now, we have to find out uh, the uh, amount of heat evolved and the change in the internal energy also. So, this will be uh, so. From here, we have found out we are able to find out the work, work required to compress hydrogen from uh, uh, when the uh, final volume is one fourth of the initial volume. Now, from the first law of thermodynamics. dq 
is given by du plus dw. Now, it is given that the process is isothermal. So, the change in internal energy comes out to be 0. So, from here is given by dw. Now, the work done is this. This is the amount of energy that is being evolved when the when the hydrogen will be compressed from uh, one uh, compressed from uh, one uh, one by four to the initial volume of the final volume. So this is uh, this is the method of compression of hydrogen from uh, at di by different methods which, which is isentropically and isothermally also. We have also seen that how the uh, how the value or how the storage volume is changing when the when when the hydrogen is is stored in a different uh, phases like in liquid phase, in solid phase and uh, in the gaseous phase. We have also seen that there will be a, uh, there will be a problem when the hydrogen will, is, when the, uh, there will be a leakage in the liquid hydrogen tank and the, and the, uh, the there will be expansion of, uh, expansion of volume uh, when the uh, liquid, uh, liquid hydrogen is converted to gaseous hydrogen by 803 times which is very hazardous in our case. Thank you.